Carl, no one knows more about the value of the Ronald McDonald House than the families that call it home for a while. Eddie and Judy neighbors treasure the love and support they received at the Ronald McDonald House in Charleston when their two-year-old daughter was being treated at a nearby hospital. As Rebecca Cook tells us, they found a home away from home just when they really needed one. Elizabeth neighbors' favorite thing to do on a sunny afternoon, see how fast she can go on her scooter. I think it is, you know, just a special place, truly. And the families who are there are walking through some of their darkest hours with their children. And I can sort of see that from the other side now, and it makes me that much more gracious for the love that was shown to my family. Were you scared? Yes, ma'am. Did it help having your mommy and daddy there? Yes, ma'am. How would you have felt if they couldn't have been there with you? I felt sad. I can't imagine not having a place as a parent um, to stay when your kids are in the hospital. And now being a mom, I think that it means that much more. I was asked to help Ronald himself cut the ribbon during the grand opening. And so I remember being a young school-aged child and cutting the ribbon with Ronald McDonald, who is now and at the time was a celebrity to me. And so it was just a grand day seeing the Greenville community pull together to open a house to support patients in their community the way we had been supported. They diagnosed me with Hepatoblastoma, and uh, it's a rare form of liver cancer. Most time they say you're not gonna live whenever you're that young and you have it. So we got sent up to Greenville Children's Hospital, and that's across the street from the Ronald McDonald House, so we had to stay there. And then they sent us up to Cincinnati, which we stayed at another Ronald McDonald House. Eventually, about a year later, I had a liver transplant and now I'm here and I'm healthy. I needed a place to stay knowing I was going to be graduating from Furman pretty soon and it was just perfect timing. I was able to stay here for a year. The Ronald McDonald House was definitely my home away from home. I can remember coming down the steps. It definitely gave me hope. There was comfort here, there was food. Uh, Marsha was here and I can remember she was very nice. It just gave me a place of peace where I could kind of focus on going through treatment and, and getting rest. Seeing the Ronald McDonald House in Greenville open a second home and grow as it's doing is amazing. It leaves me speechless. I'm thrilled for the community. I'm thrilled for the families that it will serve and it is very humbling to have been a tiny piece of that puzzle as a young child. I think we should all be committed to giving back and giving to others because it might not have been Hodgkin's disease that you went through or it might not have been some kind of child illness, but we all go through things. It's a free thing to stay at the Ronald McDonald House whenever you're sick and it's important to give because they wouldn't have any money to pay for people who are at the Ronald McDonald House if nobody donated. To the community that supports Ronald McDonald House, I'm here to first say thank you from a patient, from a family who benefited directly from the house. And I'm also here to tell you to keep giving because it matters to those families. It matters to those children. It matters to the physicians and healthcare teams that serve them. And your gifts make a difference. They said I would probably never get to attend public school, but I'm in public school.